Father Lord, I thank you for today. I thank you for my family. I thank you for the children that you bless me with. I pray that Lord, you give me the grace to raise them right. Help me to parent them in the way of the Lord. Help me to assist them in fulfilling God's plan and purpose for their lives. I commit today to your elbow hands. Continue to be with me. Help me to cope with the stress of taking care of them and strengthen me. Help me not to fall sick. Help me, oh God. I ask this in your son's name, I pray. Amen. Hi there. Welcome to my channel. My name is Mfon. And I don't know if you have prayed that kind of prayer as a mother, asking God for strength to take care of your little ones. Because for me, let me tell you, motherhood is stressful because you are taking care of your little ones and they will need your attention. So today I want to invite you into my daily life. You know, how I go through the day and slash week, what I do throughout the week to keep my kids busy because that's one of the reasons I, I know I lost some weight because I need to be energetic and run around and make sure I take care of them and make sure that everything goes well. So I am a mama of four. I have two boys and two girls and this is my life. Good morning. So at this point, I'm going to get my Bibles for my Bible study, my personal time with God. So I start with prayer and then Bible study. So I have three different versions or translations that I use for my Bible study. So I'll read and compare and I will write some things down. Then when it's time, around 6.30, I go call my kids to wake up for family morning prayer. I don't know about y'all but sometimes it takes like two to three calls to wake them up and when they finally wake up <laughs> they continue to sleep during the prayer i don't know if i'm the only person that notices that and then we prepare the father usually dresses the boys while i take care of them you know bathing and brushing their teeth and at this point the school boss for my oldest son you know him and i quickly took him down to ride the bus this is my daughter's lunch two slices of pizza with strawberries so on this day i was planning to do groceries but usually it's the dad that normally takes them to school. So I, the days I take them to school are the days that I, I do groceries, especially when my baby girl is sleeping. So they are all dressed and ready for school. I will drop them at school, then head for the store to make groceries. Right now, I'm at the store. I try as much as I can to make sure I fit in, you know, making groceries for the family into my weekly schedule because we need to eat. So right now, I'm almost done at the checkout. 
I am back from making groceries for my family. So I made breakfast for my toddler, my baby girl. Then after giving her food, I turn on the television and start doing my exercises. Taking care of myself. I know I still have some work to do on that, my back fat, you know, the bulging back fat. But I have gone a long way and <laughs> I am having fun taking care of myself because sometimes as mothers we can you know we get ourselves busy with taking care of the family taking care of the kids and forget not to take care of ourselves so exercise is self-care for me and I love it after the workout of course I'm gonna be sweaty so I'll take a shower and then eat then prepare for my next video do research check my analytics you know try to create time for my own business and plan for the next video then at around 3 30 p.m. I will go pick up my other two kids and come back home and wait for the boss to pick up my son that rides the bus from home so when they come back they change and had a time with their ipads they don't really eat most times they are not really hungry so sometimes they snack with homemade ice cream i'm gonna share with you how i come up with this stay tuned and sometimes they snack with goldfish snack so then at around five o'clock we study at home i'll make sure i read for my son and also he's now doing great reading by himself and my kids will now study because you know if you leave them alone they're gonna play the whole time with their iPads and sometimes they won't learn anything so I try to see how I can help my boy write this is my son he doesn't like to write but he sometimes enjoys it sometimes he doesn't want to so I try to make him write and my Can son also is reading we do go to the library every two weeks to get books and i have tried to encourage reading in my household so when the kids finish reading the set of books that they got from the library we go to the library to get another one and sometimes i make him choose the book he wants to read and one thing I love about reading with my kids is that it has helped them to be great readers. My oldest child, my daughter, reading is her best subject and she always gets, you know, 100%. So here is she reading and exercising. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't want to have two for one? I mean, exercising and reading. And this is another spot at the library that she loves to sit down and read. It's, it's called Book Nook. So, and also my other kids, they play. That's why I love the library because it's a, you know an opportunity for them to have fun outside the home. So my little girl is, is making pizza, so they have time to play. Also, I try to fit in Taekwondo lessons into my weekly schedule, which is you know what we do like four times in a week. I take them to Taekwondo, and they go learn how to have self-confidence they learn respect they learn to fight they learn to stand up for themselves that is what taekwondo does and after that we come back home and i prepare dinner for the family bon appetit then after that we have an evening prayer you might be wondering where is your husband my husband works late at night, so 
it normally comes in while we are all fast asleep so I will do a little Bible study it's kind of like my nighttime reading so it's a nighttime Bible study for the kids so the kids are ready to sleep so I will put in some essential oils in their diffuser which serves as a night light um, or night lamp and also a diffuser so I will diffuse some essential oils like peppermint sometimes eucalyptus lavender thieves then I will turn it on and put whatever color they choose and then turn off their light so after that it's my me time this is the time I edit my videos and try to see how I can do one or two things before I sleep so the days we don't go to either taekwondo or the library we go have fun I try to make sure that my kids also you know leave the home and they have fun you know they have a balanced life not just boring house according to my daughter <laughs> yes <laughs> once in a while these kids are energetic and you have to keep up one of the things I try to fit into my weekly schedule is making my girls hair I have two girls like I said so I will make my oldest hair and beautify her and make her look pretty she's already pretty the way she is and the days I'm not able to make it we do afro but I try to make sure she looks pretty every time not just during school her hair is neatly done you know I learned how to make hair from making their hair consistently which is one of the ways I bond and connect with my girls so i make my baby girl and i try to make sure that she stays by giving her you know what to help her keep calm even though she struggles <laughs> and once in a while especially this you know past mother's day i had a break it was also my son's birthday so we ate out and my husband took us to the cinema and we had fun the kids had fun they played games and we watched movie look at that big bucket of popcorn <laughs> yeah i had a break and my kids had fun today is actually the day for taekwondo lessons so they are getting ready to attend here we go looking for a way to park so today is actually the taekwondo my girl is dressed and my kids are dressed so my life is busy so that's my kids going in so i'm finally back for today's episode of taekwondo with my kids we still have three more times to go for this week and i mean my week is always busy but i'm grateful to god for this faithfulness and mercies so for some of you that think that I oh, you stay home no I don't I don't stay home the whole time I'm a hustler so I do something also outside the home so and I also do YouTube videos you know I am the producer I am the video editor I am the thumbnail designer I am the researcher you know I do everything by myself and you know couple with taking care of the house and you know taking care of the kids i do groceries i cook all the meals but i'm i'm thankful so that's where i'm gonna stop today thank you so much for watching like the video subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to notify you when i upload a new video thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you next time Bye bye